What up, what up? Welcome back to the Hot Button. I'm your host, Isaac Lane, and the Clippers just got smoked. I mean, they just got smoked by the Pelicans. They lose to the Pelicans, who come into this game 17 and 22. What's that? Five games below 500. 16 and 22 when they came into the game. They leave 17 and 22, and they get smoked by 20 points. The Los Angeles Clippers got blitzed by the Pelicans by 20. 115, 135 Pelicans. And if you watch the game, it really wasn't even close. The Pelicans kept their foot on the gas, kept their foot on the Los Angeles Clippers necks and wouldn't let go. Now, I understand it's just one game. One game after the All-Star break. But it's deeper than that. Let's talk about it. There's two reasons why the Clippers lost this game. And one of those reasons, they cannot control. But the other reason, they have complete control over. And it's going to be the ultimate downfall of this Clippers franchise this year and going forward. Reason number one, while the Los Angeles Clippers got blitzed tonight is because Reggie Jackson is their freaking point guard. Let me just read you his stat line. He's a point guard. He left this game with 18 points, two assists, one rebound, and 24 minutes. That's your point guard. Highlight the two assists. Two assists? And you're the freaking point guard and you play for 24 minutes and you got two assists? Are you kidding me? And listen, the, the Clippers had one job this offseason. They had one job. And their star player, Kawhi Leonard, made it clear what that one job should have been. That one job, get a point guard. That's it. If the Clippers had a point guard in the playoffs... They wouldn't have gotten bounced out as quickly. But instead of the Clippers organization getting a point guard, how do they respond? I'm glad you asked. Serge Ibaka. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You need a point guard. And you see why. Tonight was the perfect example of why you need a point guard if you're the Los Angeles Clippers. There's no flow to the offense. There's no floor general. Reggie Jackson doesn't know what he's doing. They need a point guard and they won't be able to survive in the West. They won't be able to survive in the playoffs. And it's gonna be the same story as it was last year because this team does not have a floor general. You cannot make it out of the West and you don't have a floor general. You do not have a point guard. The Clippers don't have a freaking point guard. They had one job this offseason that was to secure a point guard. They can't do it. And since they couldn't do it, they have to rely on the heroics of Kawhi Leonard, who comes through in the clutch most of the time. And they are. But he, that's not enough. They have to rely on the heroics of Paul George, who never comes through in the clutch time. The Clippers need a freaking point guard. And how did they respond? Uh, we'll take Serge Ibaka. That's the way, that, that, that's the first reason why they lost. And that's the main reason. But, but And that's something that they can control, but they won't do anything to address it. Now let's get into the second reason why they lost this game. And the most obvious reason for those of us that, that watch the game. There's this guy named Zion Williamson who's running, just, 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 just running free and streaking throughout the entire NBA. And it was on full display tonight. Guy had 27 points. He could not be stopped. And I'm watching Zion Williamson and I'm saying to myself, why isn't his name popping up as an MVP candidate? If you take this guy off of this team, the Pelicans might not have five wins. I don't think the Pelicans win five games without Zion Williamson. He needs to be in the MVP conversation. He won this game for them tonight. He was the man. Ingram showed up, but he's no Zion Williamson. 
This year, the guy's averaging 26 points per game. <laughs> 61% from the field, seven rebounds, and basically four assists. Zion Williamson should be in the MVP candidate discussion. And the Clippers got smoked tonight because they have no point guard and because there's nobody in the NBA that can contain, let alone guard, Zion Williamson.